Hey, what's up, family? Got some good and some bad news, okay? You see these errors here, these little shorties? These are the shorties that I was telling you about uh, at Family Dollar. They are six loads. Um, that's what's in this little bitty container. Six loads uh, you can wash out of that container, supposedly. And uh, I end up going to, uh, well, yesterday I went to a store, and listen, that, oh, my gosh, let me tell you, uh, this one neighborhood I went to, you talk about ghetto, rude, loud, obnoxious. Um, I come in the store, and it was like a freaking party or something. It was so loud, and they were laughing, and it was so just straight up hood. So I'm thinking to myself, the manager couldn't be here for them to be clowning like this is what I was thinking. There's no way the manager is in this store, right? So I go back there and I get my little eight bottles. I got my four coupons. Now, mind you, I bought uh, bottles before from here. I bought six before from that store. So then I ordered coupons offline and um, I was coming back to start using some of the coupons I bought. Oh, my gosh, let me tell you. So I get my stuff, I get to the cash register, and the little dude at the cash register could not figure out how to use the coupons. So I'm trying to tell him what he needed to do. He did it the first time, and when he went back the second time, he couldn't find where he had left off at, so he kept picking the same one, messing up. And uh, so if he would have listened to me instead of telling me, I know, I know, I know, so I had to just let that go, okay, you know, because he does work there and I don't. But believe me, as a couponer, I'm damn near ready to run anybody's cash register at anybody's store because I'm paying attention. So I'm telling him what to do. So he calls the manager. Do you not know hood rat that was making all the damn noise uh, clowning, acting a fool in the store was the manager. I about flipped in my head. I'm going, ain't no effing way somebody promoted you to manager. There's no way. Uh, she going to tell me, oh, no, we don't give out free stuff here. You don't get nothing free here. Ain't nothing coming out of this store for free. She going to tell me, oh, we couldn't possibly honor that. I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, we can't um, take that coupon. No, uh, that would make them free. We're not giving out free stuff in here. And uh, she's going on and on and on. I told her I purchased them before. This is what you need to do in order to make it happen. She said, oh, I know how to do it in order to accept that coupon, but I'm not accepting this coupon. We're not passing out free stuff. So I was so hated on her little ghetto self. And she was loud and obnoxious. And I'm calling Monday to, because she was so awful. Even though I think I might have three or four more coupons left just so I could go use them in her face. That's my plan to go to her store and in your face ring these up. So I'm calling corporate on Monday and um, make them call down there and talk to her little hood self because she is horrible. She is so, it is unbearable, unreal for somebody to be that loud, obnoxious in the store. It just, it's just not professional at all. Anyway, so listen, the next store I went to, What's well, a little drama, what have you, but I got my product. The last store, well, not the last one, but the next one, the one that I went to, he said that three people got fired for accepting these coupons and other coupons in the store because they're not doing the policy of however you're supposed to, uh, whatever they're supposed to do at Family Dollar, the little person wasn't getting it right, so they end up getting fired. And so he was like, I oh, he was reading it, and I went all this, and I said, well, this is just like the CoverGirl coupon. He was like, yeah, I know. He says, but corporate tells you guys one thing, and then they tell us something else, and then we have to fight with the customers after corporate has said other stuff, and I told him I understand that. He said, I don't care. So he went on, and he did whatever. So then we go to the next store. This is Debbie and I just rolling today. 
The man came up. He looked at it. Okay, uh huh, uh huh. He told the girl, "Hit manufacture coupon, da 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 da." She just paid the tax. He didn't want no fuss to him, no whatever. He understood what it was. He didn't care how did she have enough to fit the coupons is what he asked, and that was it. No ifs, ands, and buts. So needless to say, I paid thirty now I paid a dollar and uh, four cents for uh I should have sixteen bottles here, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, I paid a dollar in um Dollar two, a do, uh, dollar four cent, fifty two. Yeah, a dollar and four cent for sixteen bottles of wash, and that's sixteen uh, 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 six loads times sixteen, and um, so six times six is thirty six, and carry six uh, ninety ninety seven loads of that ninety six uh, ninety ninety a hundred and um. 106 loads I can wash here. So uh, for a dollar, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Although, you know, I'll end up gifting that out to somebody because these are cute little things for somebody's gift bag. That's cute in a little, it's a little shorty. That's cute in a little bag. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. They'll be in somebody's giveaway bag. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd share that and thought that was so interesting that Family Dollar had fired three people for uh, not following coupon policy. <laughs> and uh, and here's what's funny. Like, they really know coupon policy. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video, and I'll be watching you watch me.